Hello students, today in this class we are going to learn about the topic sexual reproduction from our lesson 6. So let's have a quick look at what we are going to talk. We are going to talk about fusion of male and female gametes and the male reproductive organs and the sperm, female reproductive organs and the egg. So fusion of male and female gametes is nothing but fusion of male gamete that is sperm with the female gamete that is ovum or egg to form a zygote. And what are the reproductive organs involved in sexual reproduction? These are the male reproductive organs involved that is testis, sperm and penis. This is the sperm and this is the structure of sperm. We are also going to talk about the female reproductive organs involved in sexual reproduction that is the uterus, ovary and the oviduct. And this is the egg which has a nucleus. This is the female gamete and is also called as ovum. Now let us begin our class. As we have all known and we have studied that plants reproduce sexually and have uh, male and female reproductive parts, right? In animals also, male and female organisms have different reproductive parts and they reproduce sexually. So, in human beings, what are the reproductive organs present and how is the reproduction happening? How is the sexual reproduction happening? Let us see that. As you can see here on the screen, this is the male gamete that is the sperm and this is the ovum. So what is happening here? As you can see, sperm is coming and fusing with the egg. Here you can see the fusion of nuclei. So the reproduction which is beginning with fusion of male and female gametes is called as sexual reproduction. So as you can see here, these are the sperm and ova and they are getting fused. As you can see here, two nuclei. This is the fusion of nuclei. Here, this is the fusion of nuclei. And this is the egg. And this is the sperm coming and fusing the ovum. So, the reproduction which begins with fusion of male and female gametes is known as sexual reproduction. And now, let us see what are the reproductive organs involved in sexual reproduction. So, this is the male reproductive system. And now, let us see what are the male reproductive organs in involved. So, as you can see here, male reproductive system includes sperm duct, penis and a pair of testes. So, this testis, this one, this testis produces the male gamete that is sperm. Testes are a pair of organs located on either side. And these testes is responsible for production of millions of sperms. And this sperm duct is helpful in carrying the sperms. That is, it helps in the movement of the sperms. As you can see here, here in the testis sperms are produced, here in the testis sperms are produced and it travels through the sperm duct and comes into the penis and then the sperms are ejaculated. So this is how sperm transfer like sperm pathway is and sperm travels from testis to penis. So this is how the male reproductive system looks like and these are the male reproductive organs. This is the penis, this is the sperm duct and these are the testis. The white color ones which you are seeing, these are the testes. Okay. And let's move to the male gamete that is the sperm. So, this is the human sperm. And it is just a sing single cell. But it appears to be having like a head, middle piece and tail, right? So, this part is the head and this is the middle piece and this tail. So, tail of the sperm helps in locomotion, that, that is, it promotes in easy movement. 
it helps the sperm to swim basically and sperm as you can see this is just a single cell with all the usual cell components so this is how a sperm looks like and this is the head and the middle piece now let us move to the female reproductive organs so this is the female reproductive system present in females and as you can see here this is the uterus and the oviduct and the ovary so here the ovum or the egg is produced ovum or the egg is produced and after the production of egg it travels into the it travels through the oviduct and the reproduction happens in the fallopian tubes these oviducts are also known as these oviducts are also known as fallopian tubes so the female reproductive organs as you can see here are the ovaries oviducts and the uterus as you can see here the ovaries are lying on either side and they are a pair of organs okay and also as i mentioned the ovary produces egg that is the female gamete it is also called as ovum so in human beings a single egg is produced and is released into the oviduct by one of the ovaries every month and after this what happens after the production of egg after the production of egg it travels through the oviduct and comes into the uterus so uterus is the part this is the part where baby development takes place and once the egg fuses with the sperm the baby development takes place here and this part gets elongated so as we have discussed like the sperm egg is also a single cell now let us see the human egg that is the ova as you can see here it has a nucleus this is nucleus okay and we are we are able to see here with the help of this model but you know these are really really small and let us observe some of the eggs like this is a human egg right so these are the eggs of ostrich and this is egg of a hen so the eggs may vary in sizes and the egg the ostrich has the largest egg as you can see here and this female reproductive organs in male and female are located in the abdominal region so i hope it is clear and now let's move to some activity that is we have our brain buster so let us see how much you all have understood so what is the male gamete called in humans we have discussed that and yes it is called as sperm and which of the following is not a part of male reproductive system is it the testis or the sperm duct or the ovary yeah it is easily identifiable that is the ovary ovary is present in female reproductive system and each ovary releases an egg next is how many eggs are typically released by a human ovary in a month this is the easiest yes it is one and which part of the female reproductive system is responsible for egg production yes it is ovaries and as we have discussed compare the size of human eggs to those of other animals mentioned in the text which animal has the largest eggs is it human hen 
ostrich or fish yes it is ostrich as we have seen in our model and which part of the female reproductive system does the development babe development of the baby takes place yes it is the uterus so how would you describe the cellular nature of gametes are gametes single cellular or multicellular yes they are single cellular and if a scientist wanted to study an human egg cell which organ should they examine is it the testes or the ovaries or the fallopian tubes it's the ovaries so that's all about today's class children hope you all understood it thank you